Daddle residence. Hi, may I speak to Henry Daddle, please? Speaking. Mr. Daddle, my name is Nancy Drew. This is a long shot, but I'm calling regarding a Maya artifact that was bought at auction in 1898 by one Henry Albert Daddle. Does that ring any bells? Sure. Henry Albert Daddle Sr. was my great-grandfather. You're talking about the jade carving, right? Yes, exactly. Wow, I can't believe my luck. Well... It's a lucky life, if you ask me. So what can I do for you? I'm investigating a recent rash of thefts around the country involving similar Maya artifacts. Any information you could give me about the one your great-grandfather bought would be very helpful. I see. Well, I was the last to inherit the carving but my daughter, Penelope, was so intrigued with it that I gave it to her. I'm sure she'd be happy to talk to you about it. Why don't you give her a call on her line? It's 555-3197. Will do. Thanks, Mr. Daddle. My pleasure. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as done. We're sorry, your Hello? Hi, is this Penelope? Not even. Oh, is this 605-555-3197? Yeah, but no one calls me Penelope anymore. Except my parents, that is. To my friends, the art world, and anyone else who made it out of the 20th century, I'm Poppy. The art world? Wait, you're not Poppy Dada, are you? Ta-da! Ping, ping! You win! Who's this? My name's Nancy Drew. I'm a detective. A detective? No way. So do you get to wear a sassy tweed hat and pick hairs off dead bodies and gross, creepy stuff like that? I don't run into too many dead bodies, luckily. But there's plenty of other creepy stuff. So, where'd you get my name? Don't tell me I'm, like, wanted by the FBI or something. That would be too scandalous. No, no. You see, it's all a big coincidence. Your dad's name came up in connection with a case I'm working on. Go, Dad. Don't tell me he's wanted by the FBI. 
I'll be so jealous. Sorry, Poppy. There's no FBI in on this case, and your dad's not wanted. Okay, what then? Someone is stealing Maya antiquities, jade carvings to be exact, and leaving this scary red handprint at the scene of every crime. Ghastly. So what's with the red hand? It's printed with this stuff called cinnabar. Nobody seems to know what it means. All I know is the more I investigate, the more complicated it gets. Drama. So where do the daddles come in? I got a tip that your great-great-grandfather bought a jade carving much like the ones that are being stolen. I'm hoping to take a look at it. You mean that ancient green rock with the weird symbol on it? I slapped some shoe polish on it and stuck it in one of my paintings. You're kidding. That's a one-of-a-kind Maya artifact, a piece of history. It's hundreds of years old. It's worth a lot of money. That's the whole point. Have you heard the saying that a work of art is never finished, just abandoned? Well, I'm taking that idea to the limit by making art that will keep changing as different people encounter, perceive, and interact with it. I'm tired of artwork that says, don't touch. I'm all about letting go, about sending my work into the world and seeing how it continues to become. Don't you see? It's an organic process. I mean, how can people really relate to art if it doesn't come to life and, and, and grow and die just like they do? That carving is part of something bigger now. It seems awfully reckless to me, not to mention the wrench it throws into my investigation. Oh, Nancy, don't be such a prude. Taylor's probably still got that artwork. At least, I don't think he's sold it yet. Why don't you ask him? Tell him you want to see the piece called Deadly Midnight Snack. It's the one with the rubber shark. The one with the rubber shark? Yes, I've seen it, but I didn't notice any jade carving. Well, take a closer look there, sweets. It's in there. If you really need the carving to crack this case, why don't you just go ahead and take it? What? Poppy, you can't be serious. Sure, why not? After all, this is a chance to enact exactly what I've been talking about. The organic process. Inviting my viewers to interact with my work. The deal is, you can take the carving, but you have to put something in its place. Something in its place? Like what? An old shoe? A subway token? A movie stub? No, it should be something more organic. Stay with the title. Deadly Midnight Snack. And don't be afraid to go way out. As an artist, I can tell you that inspiration bites in the most mysterious ways. Okay, Poppy, if you say so. Right on. But let's keep Taylor out of this. He'd probably blow a gasket if he saw you tampering with the merchandise. That's all art is to him, you know. Merchandise. I'll make sure he doesn't detect a thing. Good luck, Nancy. Thanks, Poppy. Bye. Any news? Mind if I help myself to one of those scrumptious looking Oaxacan cookies? Be my guest. May I take a closer look at that wacky Dada painting? Be my guest. I just had a call from Poppy this morning. She says she's in a really creative period right now. I said, please, sweetie, if you get any more creative, they're going to lock you up. <laughs> uh, pardon me a moment, Nancy. I'll be right back. I hope. Roswell Jackson and Rose, how may I direct your call? I'd like to speak to Franklin Rose, please. I'm sorry, but Mr. Rose is out of the office. Would you like to try back later? Sure. Thank you for calling Boswell Jackson and Rose.
You have no voicemail. Press 9 for an out... Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. Hi, this is Nancy Drew calling. Hi, Nancy. It's Sheila. What can I do for you? I've just got to get my hands on a replica of that jade carving you lost. Do you have any ideas? Not off the top of my head, but maybe one of my staff will have a bright idea. I need some time to ask around. Can you call back later? Sure thing. Feel free to call if you have any more questions. It's me again. Nancy Drew, you will never guess who the cat just dragged in. Who? Frank and Joe Hardy. You're kidding. I haven't talked to those two in months. Let me tell you, they're as cute as ever. George and I were just telling them about your latest case, and... Hmm, judging by the way they're hovering around me at the moment, I think they want to say hello. Sure, put them on. Hi, Nancy, it's Frank. Frank Hardy, what in the world are you doing in River Heights? Well, Joe and I just finished up a case out west, and we're taking a few days to drive back to Bayport. So we stopped in River Heights to say hello to our favorite girls. Well, that's awfully sweet of you. We should have known you'd be out there chasing trouble. Joe, is that you? The one and only. How's it going, Nancy? Oh, just knee-deep in another case. You know the feeling. Do we ever. There's one around every corner, isn't there? You can say that again. There's one around every corner, isn't there? All right, Joe. Cheeky as ever, I see. It's the secret of my irresistible charm. Oh, brother. Listen, Nancy, we're taking off again tomorrow. But if you want to talk shop about this case, why don't you give us a call on the car phone? The number is 973 555 Three three nine three. Sounds great. I'll do that. Go get him, Nancy. Good luck. Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. Hi, this is Nancy Drew calling. Hi, Nancy. It's Sheila. Well, we racked our brains. Finally, one of my staff came up with the original box that the carving was packed in. The piece was encased in a tight foam cast to prevent damage during shipping. I'm not sure how much good it'll do you, but I can send it to you if you like. That just might work. Henrik left Beach Hill as his forwarding address, so I know what to do. I'll send it express. Thanks a million, Sheila. Good luck with your investigation.
el paquete lo más pronto posible. Cambio y fuera. Diego de Landa. I wonder if that's one of the keys. Thank you. 